Hey YouTube, Markeisha here. I'm going to share with you um, some projects that I created this weekend. As promised, I said that I would do a follow-up video from the fabulous weekend I had with Scrap Passion 01 Betty. Um, if you did not get a chance to follow along, please go back and check those videos out. They are uncut, they are funny, and they are super hilarious. So, um, I had such, you know, I, I, I don't even know how to uh, even describe the fun we had. So, let me just go ahead and, and go into further details about a little bit of the things that I created. And so, what I'll do is, I guess I'll start with this card that I um, created here. And this card here was using the camera um, Brigida. And, um, <clears throat> This paper line that I use was from the die cuts with the view, and this I think it's called the snapshot um, paper line, but um, it has lots of really pretty colors, and so I colored her up, her skin, and then I paper pieced the rest of her outfit. Um, on her glasses, on the lens, I added some glossy accent as well as a uh, glossy accent to her glasses. And um, I really love the play of the colors on this card. If you notice, you know, right here I have the black uh, chevron and then the flowers. And so this is something new um, for me um, because I, you know, normally just, you know, try to keep, you know, maybe a few patterns and then some solids. But, you know, here I decided to um, be a little bit different. So that is one card that I created. The other card that I created here was the Kenny K stamp, and um, when I bought the I bought this stamp a while ago, and of course, you know, with her being a crop diva here, um, I decided that this was something that I could most definitely use to, you know, give to my scrappy friends when I'm sending little uh, racks and everything, or you know involved in swaps so I purchased this and she also has some glossy accent in her eyes and you can see all of the sparkle on her outfit because she is a diva and so um, I just want you know you guys to um, check her out again a lot of play on the colors um, this was a die cuts with the view and this is the new birthday stack that they had and so um, I thought it was a lot of fun colors um, this here I love this center here this is one of the Soology um, buttons from Hobby Lobby and I just love the different colors in it so um, it's very translucent and it has different colors so I love it and then I just put some you know a string of pearls here on this ribbon and then the inside of this, I just simply um, added some of the pattern paper that goes with the paper line. So I love the way this card turned out as well. I also created this canvas here. And um, this was very fun. And this was using the um, Secret Garden paper. And let me go ahead and just adjust the... Um, camera so that I can get a full view and you guys could be able to see everything that um, I have in here so if you notice right there on the top I have a love um, wood piece I did paint that up with the uh, acrylic uh, light buttermilk um, paint and then I used some snow tech and added some texture to it um, I have a spray of flowers here, and then this picture was, you know, of me and my boys, of course. I, I really have young men, um, <laughs> but this was, on, you know, out on vacation actually last year, and so I added some paint around the edges of the picture. I put a little recollection wood piece here that says family. I also added one of the Michaels um, wood um, veneer pieces here and I painted it with that white, uh, I'm sorry, the light buttermilk paint, added a string of flat back pearls to it. I have these butterflies and I've had these metal butterflies and I think they are recollection and I just added some purple um, little pearls there in the center. Um, I have this spot here for journaling because I am going to go back and do some journaling. 
um, on it because I thought this shot was just really, really unique. Um, the photographer wanted us to pose, you know, alike. But if you notice, everybody pretty much, you know, besides my son, my oldest son here and myself have a, a different pose. So, of course, you know, boys will not be compliant when it's time to do stuff. So th I thought that was really, really funny. So I have a dolly behind the photo here. And then I have another different set of um, string of these little beads here. I have an array of flowers. So this is just, you know, a uh, variety of different flowers from wild orchid crafts to um, um, Michael's uh, dollar flowers to um, just some that I picked up at my local craft store. And so I, I love it. And then at the bottom here, I have... Um, the lollipop flower here and I received that in a rack from Shantae who is Shantana here on YouTube and at the top here I have just a little uh, vintage paper clip that I clipped behind the photo and at the top I have some lace and some string of pearls so um, again this is adhered on on chipboard and so I will be able to hang this in my craft room of my boys because of course you know <laughs> I'll have an empty nest here soon and so I I noticed that I am starting to um, do more, you know, uh, layouts and things uh, with my boys. And of course, that layouts is always my first love. And so I'm going to have, you know, in the near future, I'm thinking about maybe doing a series of layouts um, because I love layouts. So the next thing I'll show you guys is this bag here that I created. And again, like I said in the previous video, this was uh, a rack to me. I created this flower here with this eyelash trim. Um, this here dangle here was actually an earring piece and me and Betty picked that up while we were out um, doing a little hauling over the weekend. I created a, a bow and put a, a little um, real pretty little um, flower in the center and then I know you recognize this paper here because that's the Prima Lyrica paper and then I put this really pretty trim here and this was in my hoard stash I had to pull it out and then um, this um, trim here this peach trim um, I received this from I am mama 24 in the recent swap with her so um, I have a little pendant here that says dream big and um, I thought this was really really cute so that is the canvas bag um, and then I'll show you some more flowers Again, this one is the little shabby flower. I love making these flowers here. And I just put some little pearls in the center of that flower. And this, this one is really, really easy because all this is is just that um, beautiful trim from Hobby Lobby. And then I just put a center in the center of that. So that's very pretty. And I'm calling this one here just my fly by night <laughs> kind of um, um, flower here because I just started creating. I added some of the eyelash trim. Um, this here, this um, canvas here was actually a lollipop um, flower pack that I had gotten a couple of years ago. And so I pulled that out and just kind of, you know, layered it as some flowers. I created this little bow and put a little pearl in the center. And then just with some ribbon, I just began to add some layers of ribbon there. So I love this and I, I can't wait to use this one on a project. And then again, um, I created this little book here and, um, you know, it's a notepad. I just used one of the, um, I got this little spool from Hobby Lobby in a pack. Um, I added a little hanger here. This is the Prima Lyrica paper, and this comes out here. So I just tucked that in, you know, cut fussy cut that out of the paper line, and you can add something down in the, you know, in that little vellum bag there. And I added some trim here and some flat back pearls to it. And so it was very, very quick. And guys, these are the little projects, you know, I love love handmade stuff and um, this would be very very fun to you know add in your um, racks or if you wanted to send something to someone so I love that and then let's get to the meat and potatoes I call it um, this is uh, um, and the altered mailbox that I created and I love the way this turned out 
So, um, let me just tell you guys, um, the paper line that I used was from the Na Nature Garden by Prima. Um, I created this um, um, bottle cap, I'm sorry, and I added another one of the butterflies. I added a string of pearls here. I cut this out of the paper line, and it says postcard, um, which is very appropriate for the mailbox. Um, just notice the spray of flowers. They are stickled. These are wild orchid crafts. I have... Um, here, one of the um, wedding um, little sprays here, and then the entire bottom that I have here is textured, and I hope you guys are picking that up. It is textured really, really well, and what I used again was the Snow Tech um, to do that. added some pearls, and then I added some brown uh, string of pearls here, so I love it. It is so shabby chic. I love the... Um, little um, ribbon and then uh, if you notice here um, she stickled guys I stickled her I'm not I'm sorry glossy accent this little fairy here and so um, she's you know really glossy I added some Chinese braid trim to the lid of this and this is very functional um, and um, it can be used um, the lid can come off and I have some string of pearls in the pink and also in the cream and let me just show you the other side of this so so pretty I love it and then um, this side has just a string of the um, want to scrap bling on the side of it so I'm really excited the way this turned out, and I know for sure I'll make another one of those. And so the whole idea of this was to create a gift set. And so I started creating these 3x3 three three cards so that I could add in it. It's just some seam binding, um, a buckle there with a pearl, and I cut this, of course, with my um, spell binders and put a string of pearls on the bottom. And I am all about, you know, making little quick cards and stuff to send. This one here, um, just some rose trim with some pearls in the center and some bling. Pop this up because it's dimensional with the postcard. And then the last one um, is uh, one with the bottle cap. I added some pearls and a little butterfly in the center and made a little... So again, this is a very um, cute little 3x3 three three card. Um, I have a little um, banner strip here that I just cut out of a uh, embellishment um, pack, sticker pack that I had. And again, this is the 3x3 uh, three three cards are all with using the Nature Garden paper. So I wanted to keep, you know, all of the papers and everything, um, you know, with the the mailbox and so they do have um, envelopes with them and I'm going to also include this um, postcard here that I can write something on the back and um, so you know guys that this was such a, a great idea and um, you can pretty much you know you don't have to do shabby chic or just vintage you can customize this for whatever need it is you know whether it's a birthday valentine or whatever so and this was one of the valentine uh, mailboxes that i received of course i have a drawer of altered items um to alter um, I buy them up at bu in bulk when I get them and so it's time for me to start pulling out some of that stuff and altering so thanks guys so much for following along and also for sticking with me with this video and um, I hope that you guys were inspired to create something and thanks so much for watching bye